So if, if the, the divine feminine were running the world? Yeah. Is that the question? <laughs> In um, terms of, yeah, consciousness. Well, the first thing I'm going to say is that, that you can't have a healthy culture that's run entirely by the divine masculine or by the divine feminine. Mm. Okay? It, a healthy culture is run equally by both. And to be really clear, the patriarchy is not the divine masculine. It is the divine masculine in its shadow self. Oh. Okay, it is the shadow side of the masculine. Mm. The, the light side of the masculine is really good boundaries, really clear definitions of structure and self and self versus other and being able to create protections and whatever, right? It's, a, it's, it's identity with the individual. And on a, on a nationwide basis, it's much more the, uh, the model of the sovereign as um, steward of the people. That is the, the light side of the masculine. Um, what we have now is the masculine in shadow, which is dominance over, power over, uh, you know, the, the forcing of things into the path of control, right? That's the masculine in its shadow. And that's what happens any time you have the masculine running things or the feminine running things by themselves. They will always end up in their shadow because there's nothing to balance them. There's nothing to pull them back out of the shadow. That's why you have to bring both together. So I can tell you what a divine feminine path would look like in a, in a culture, but it's not... It, so a divine feminine path in, its, in a culture would be no government. It would be community decision making. It would be, you know, people would come together to make a decision when they needed to, and there would be no government after that. You know, it'd be every person understands and accepts for themselves what's, you know, they, they all participate as part of a community mind, right? That is the divine feminine. But that becomes anarchy in its, in its path um, when it's not balanced by the masculine. And so you end up with a lack of organization, a lack of structure, a lack of ability to get things done on a larger scale. You end up with people getting selfish and doing things for themselves and not doing things in relation to the community because, you know, they, they don't feel safe and because there's no balance of the masculine to allow them to feel safe and there's no structure of the masculine to allow them to create a, 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 a synergy within a larger space. And so it becomes this free-for-all, everyone for themselves, because you, you end up in that energy. And so you end up with that, that challenge. So you have to come into a place where you have both.